Good evening. The word of the day is limit, as in speed limit, but we're not going to talk about the speed limit per se. When I was a teenager and in my early 20s, we sold a lot of pulpwood. Back then, we sold it by the five-foot stick. When you see pulpwood now on these big trucks going down the road, you see tractor-trailer trucks with whole tree-length uh, pieces of wood on them, 40 and 50 feet long going down the road. That's pulpwood going to be made into paper. But when I was a young man, we would sell some in five-foot sticks. My dad's job was such that he could take a load of pulp with him, wood with him to work, and during his lunch break, he could take it out to the pulpwood yard and sell it. We sold it in five-foot sticks, and we loaded on his truck. Now, it was a job to load that pulpwood. I've told you before about how he would make us pick up the big ones first because we had to do the hard things first and then work our way to the small ones. But even when we were doing that, we had limits. I remember one time we cut down a tree that was really huge, and instead of picking it up and putting it on the truck by hand, we actually had to get the tractor and what we called a boom pole, which went on the three-point hitch, and we picked it up and put it on the truck. It was so big. And I also remember that sometimes we would get some big enough that it would take both of us to put it on the truck. If we didn't get the tractor, both of us would work together to put it up on there. Because we knew our limits. We knew that physically there was just so much we could do. Also, when we were loading the truck, we knew there was a limit to the amount that we could put on the truck. I think a lot of people have reached their limit with this pandemic. There are people who have gone farther than they probably ever realized they could and made it through things that they didn't think they could by pushing their limit. Now, one of the things that I learned when we were working with that pulp wood was that the more I work with it, the greater my limits increased. I grew stronger and able to pick up bigger pieces of pulp wood as time went on. I also learned some techniques as I watched my father and how he would flip the sticks of pulp wood up on the truck so that I got better at it. I increased my limits. And I hope that as we've gone through this pandemic and we struggle with some of the things that we've had to deal with, that we've increased our limits, our ability to withstand things like the pressure of everyday life as it changes rapidly, being unable to go out and do the things we normally do, and just having to, having to deal with the threat of having COVID. But I also hope that we've learned that there are limitations. At some point, we need to say, this is enough and stop. I cannot put myself through anymore. Maybe we don't need to take on quite as much as we normally would. Or maybe we need to learn to say no to some things so that we don't exceed our limits emotionally, mentally, and physically. We all do have some limits. And this is one time we need to make sure we know what our limits are and stay within them so that tomorrow can be another great day.